So Rich, QR codes didn't work out. Why will this be any different? The, the big difference is that Shazam has been installed hundreds of millions of times, has over 100 million monthly active users, and so we make connecting with music, TV, and now printed things, such as uh, printed content, ads, packaging, just a tap away from an app that's already on your device. So what's a good example of what I can do now that I couldn't do before? Uh, one example was last Friday, Disney ran a full-page ad in the New York Times for one of their new movie, Tomorrowland. And by simply opening Shazam, tapping the button, we took you to Tomorrowland. And you could go experience this new world, uh, meet the characters, watch videos, play games, and really have an immersive experience that prior to this you would have had to download a different app, type something. It was, much, it was a lot more friction to get into a great experience like that. I wonder, Sebastian, you know, as the guy behind Google Glass, do you see augmented reality and virtual reality just hitting popularity yeah. in the next year? I mean, where is this going? I think it's going to move forward, and I love what Shazam is doing. I'm waiting for the Shazam Face app, where I could just push the button and get the right face I information. I would love that, to, to without person. having to tell the person that you don't <laughs> recognize them. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be great, and then you could engage with the person, exchange names, and so on. What is the potential here, Rich? You know, to, to Sebastian's point, where could this go? Um, it could go to making really everything Shazamable, music, TV, printed things. It could go to, to freeform visual discovery. Um, the reality is people are going to want to connect to the world around them from their smart devices. The research out last week said 87% of millennials have their phone with them 24-7. 80% said it's the first thing they check in the morning. It's the way people are going to want to engage with the world, whether it's to learn more, share, buy, etc. So I think the real world's, world's going to get connected to the smart device really quickly. And, you know, I know you guys are, are, are a hot company out there. What kind of dollars does this add to Shazam's bottom line? Well, what's, what's nice for this on the, on the revenue and partnership side is it lets us partner with brands in a really strategic cross-platform way. So now a brand can talk about connecting their TV ads, their print ads, their actual packaging, and make that one-tap connection to a mobile experience, which is something most brands are trying to increase their mobile engagement. So do you think with like advances in deep learning, we'll be able to recognize people's clothes, people's jeans, and be able to buy the same pair? I think someday. I think someday, absolutely. It's, it's, these devices are only getting smarter and faster, and, and all these technologies are developing around the ecosystem. And so I think uh, we're just getting started.